Kristen from Michigan Pines and I wanted to take a minute to share with you um, some details about how we built our A-Frame Playhouse. Um, this is one of the videos that we had done earlier on to our YouTube channel and we were in the process of building and we weren't able to just stop and share a lot of information. Um, this is also one of our videos that has um, the most views because the A-Frame is a super popular style of Playhouse to build. Right now, it's just super easy to build. It's functional, the kids love it. So I just wanna get on here and take some time to give you some additional information. So if you're interested in building one for your kids and your family, you will know how to do it and you'll have all the tools that you need to make an awesome A-frame playhouse for your family. So I will give you a step-by-step -step and then also let you know what we use um, and then you should be able to build your own. Okay, our A-frame playhouse is out here in kind of a pioneer area and our chickens actually walk around out here all the time, which is super cute. Um, the kids also love playing out here as well. So I kind of just wanted to share the details of the products that we used and the things, the items that we needed to get started. We used four pallets, seven two by four by eights to make the frame two four by eight pieces of plywood, eight pieces of cedar fence posts. Um, the color of the playhouse is black. It's a tricorn black by Sherwin-Williams, which I love. I love how the color turned out on this. And then, there's that. And then we put some hooks inside of the house as well. Um, for the kids to hang their little adventure bags on. I got these little animal hooks from Anthropology. I love how they look in here. So Chloe has a hook, Izzy has a hook, and then I stained the inside of the house too, just to kind of make it look a little bit better. Um, but they use the pillows in here for tea parties. Um, they sit in here and they read. The porch is a little bit of an ankle breaker, so I'll be honest about that. Um, we gapped this. I thought this would look super cool. So the pallets are underneath and then we put the cedar um, fence posts like, you know, gapped them out on here. And you'll be able to kind of see a little bit more about how we did it in our first video. And I'll link that up to here. Um, the girls are fine because their feet are bigger, but Jacob is a little bit smaller. So sometimes he has a hard time with the gaps. Just the way that that ended up working out. So. I like the porch idea. I think it's a cute idea, but we probably should have put that a little bit closer together. So how we started the house is we used those pallets as a base. I don't know if you can see under there. Um, we had a four by six piece of plywood that we reused. We put it over the two pallets for the floor. Um, I found a four by six rug, an outdoor rug from Target that we put in here as well. Um, and then we have the eight foot posts in here. So four of them we kept at eight feet. We put them in here. We cut the other ones four feet across. So we have three. One, two, three, four feet across. Same on here. We met up here at the top. That's how we did that. We used the cedar fence posts on the back as well. And then lastly, we screwed our plywood on the outside. We use exterior paint, so um, it withholds, it stands, you know, out in the weather. So this has been up since April and still looks great. There's a little bit of bird poop over here, but other than that, it still looks great. We don't have any water damage inside. We found some discounted shingles from Home Depot that were already pre-opened. So we did flap some shingles over the top of here just to kind of prevent any water from getting in. But other than that, it was super easy for us to do. Um, my husband and I don't have like a whole lot of experience in building things. And this is kind of like our first like build project and we love how this turned out. Um, so we're probably gonna try and do like another one as well over here because we have a great space in here. I'll kind of back up and show you. 
the space that we have. We did this other smaller like pallet playhouse over here. Um, it's kind of hideous. It works right now. They have their fairy garden stuff in it. Um, but this is something that we probably will do like another A-frame over in this corner. And then we have this A-frame here. Um, I don't know if I'll keep them both black or do a different color, but this is just like such a fun little secret space for the kids to play in our yard. Um, and we love how this one turned out. So I hope that gives you a little bit more detail on how we built it. Again, we will link up our first video of like us actually doing it. Um, that one though was like a lot of, you know, building. We were in the process of it and we were just trying to get it done. We didn't give a whole lot of detail as to what we used. Um, if you have any questions, definitely put them down in the comments. We'd love to help you out. And if you built an A-frame yourself, definitely link up like your Instagram picture link or like your own personal video. We'd love to see how you did it because maybe when we do our next A-frame over here, we can get some ideas from you as well. Um, but again, I hope this helps you build your own playhouse for your kids. This is something that our family loves and something that they will be playing in for many years to come. Thanks for tuning in. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, when you go in like the chicken coop or something like this, then it's a lot warmer than it is outside. Yeah. So it's interesting, but. So how do you set it up if you're having a tea party? 